How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with John, newest member of the Running Warehouse test team. Today we're going to be giving you our full review on the new ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. Now the Nimbus series has been a staple within the ASICS lineup for years. It's known as that highly cushioned premium neutral shoe. And now looking at version 25, we've basically got a new design from top to bottom that it's going to shake things up for the Nimbus series and I think for the better. Yeah, so this is actually my first time running in a Nimbus and what an introduction it has been. This is the kind of shoe that reminds me why I love running. It's not just a regular running shoe. The experience that we'll get into is so plush and premium. I just found myself loving this shoe more and more with each mile. Yeah, John, now I know you got a pretty good amount of miles in your own pair, but I might have won up to you. I've had them a little bit longer. I got over 600 miles in the Nimbus 25, and for good reason. I don't do this often, but when it's a shoe that I like, I put in the miles, and the Nimbus is right in my wheelhouse. It's got that plush cushioning, and really what sets this shoe apart, even from version 24, which was a really solid update, is going to be that midsole. We've got full blast plus and way more cushioning than before. I am starting to like these shoes that are approaching 40 millimeters and really in this case over 40 millimeters, about 41 in the heel and you feel that cushioning underfoot. Yeah, I'll admit I wasn't sure how much I loved the midsole cushion when I first tried them on. I think maybe I was trying to push the pace a little bit too much, but after I've taken them on more recovery runs, easy days or even longer runs, I found that the cushion to be just what my joints and what my legs needed after a hard workout. And it's also really lightweight too, which I really appreciate in any sort of shoe, especially one that has such max stack like this one. Yeah, you know, the compound is very soft. It's got that plush experience and you just feel that compression and then you get a little bit of spring at toe off. I wouldn't say this is a fast shoe. I wouldn't say it's an extremely bouncy shoe, but when you're just cruising, when you're doing recovery efforts, long runs, it just feels good. It feels protective and it's smooth. I mean, the geometry of this shoe, ASICS did a fantastic job. You just go through your gait effortlessly and that's really where I think I liked this shoe the most was just how smooth it was. Yeah, for sure. And while I tend to try and keep Max Cushion shoes strictly to recovery days, I have been finding myself wanting to run in these, even if it's at an easier, faster pace, not necessarily speed, but just on an easier, faster day. Yeah, now moving on down to the outsole, you can see I got a little bit of wear here, but actually held up pretty well for the amount of miles I put in the shoe. We've got that strategic rubber in the forefoot, in the heel, really not much rubber wear. You can see uh, the exposed uh, midsoles gotten a little bit of uh, wear and tear, but overall it's done pretty well. I'd say the outsole actually held up a little bit better than, than the midsole. Yeah, I appreciated the wider base here. It gives you that really good stability. In terms of the outsole, as you know, living on the central coast of California, uh, we don't have the chance to run in wet weather uh, that much. I'm not complaining about that. However, we've had quite a bit of rain recently, and that's really where I've been putting a lot of miles in. I have been pleasantly surprised with how well the uh, traction has uh, kept grip on the surfaces. I will say there were times where maybe I didn't feel as confident, but really given the fact that this is a road shoe, you're going to be putting most of your miles on the roads, it does exactly what you would want it to. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the net base because we've been seeing this more and more with these high stack shoes. As you build that stack height up, you got to build the base out to create a little bit more inherently stable design. And ASICS does a great job here with the Nimbus 25. The platform feels fantastic. It's inherently stable. It's everything you need. I think even some people who maybe are moderate over pronators will find plenty of inherent stability built into this shoe. Now, the final piece of this shoe that we haven't talked about yet that is a critical component to a Nimbus is the gel. Now, when you look at the shoe, you don't see any exposed gel, which we've come to know in past versions of the shoe. That's because it's built directly into the shoe. We've got the pure gel uh, embedded into the heel and it not only feels soft, but one of the issues with exposed gel was it just added that extra weight. So ASICS was able to create this highly cushioned experience at an even lighter weight. Yeah, I definitely felt that when I was running. You could feel it in the, uh, during your foot strikes, it feels nice and soft, um, but it doesn't feel like quicksand. You get that nice roll off. 
and like you said, it helps with the weight and that's a really important factor when you're talking about a recovery day shoe that you want to be able to put a lot of miles in. Yeah, you know, we've talked about this midsole cushioning quite extensively. It's what gives it that magic underfoot experience as you're going through those long miles. But we got to talk about the upper now. It's really what's going to wrap the shoe all together. If we look at maybe the last couple versions of the Nimbus, they've been good uppers, but not great uppers, especially for a premium luxurious shoe. And now with the Nimbus 25, they've revamped it. And I think this is the best fitting uh, Nimbus to date. The heel is just so plush. It feels luxurious. The materials inside are just extremely soft. Everything about this upper felt amazing from initial try on to mile 20. Yeah, I could not agree more about the upper. Uh, we've tried shoes like the Invincible and the More V4, and you're gonna get a similar underfoot experience with the Max Stack cushioning. But what really separates the Nimbus apart from my perspective is this upper. Uh, the, the padded collar to the, even the eye stays with the laces that give you that nice cinch, but still allows a little bit of flexibility as your foot moves on. We have the privilege here of testing a lot of really good shoes here. So we're always looking for, is something gonna stand out uh, with the shoe? And absolutely, once you put the Nimbus on, uh, you don't wanna take it off. Now, John, you brought up a couple comparable shoes and I think you are spot on. First on up with the Invincible, I'd say that's a pretty good comparable option because of that underfoot cushioning. Both of these shoes offer pretty unique uh, midsole compounds. I'd say the Zoom X and the Invincible is maybe a little bit more responsive, but I think I preferred the added stack in the Nimbus 25. This has been a little bit more of a better option for me for longer runs. The other option that you brought up, more V4, I wouldn't normally say that's a comparable shoe, but again, with the added stack of the Nimbus 25, right in line, it's got that max cushioning experience. The only other shoe, really one of maybe two or three that are gonna be over 40 mils in that daily training space, I think both of those shoes are gonna be fantastic comparable options to the Nimbus 25. Yeah, and just a final thought for me, I typically like to I use a shoe that may be a little more versatile, something like the A6 Nova Blast 3, uh, where you can do anything from your up-tempo runs to long days, recovery days. But truly, after trying the Nimbus for uh, as long as I have, this is really a shoe that I'm wanting to put on for those easy miles. And when I'm in the middle of a training cycle for a marathon, a recovery is key. And so you don't want to cut any corners. And I think the Nimbus is going to find its way in my rotation for many, many miles to come. Well, I think ASICS hit it out of the ballpark with the new Nimbus 25. If you like a high level of cushioning, that plush, luxurious experience for anything from recovery runs, daily training, long runs, anytime you want a lot of cushioning underfoot to have your body feeling good, day in and day out. I think the Nimbus 25 is going to be a fantastic option. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, good news, it's here at Running Warehouse. You can get your own pair right now.